Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the last exhibition match for today. For Nanolades the Dawn, I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're going to end off because, like I said before, there is a tournament next week. There is a 2v2 tournament. It is being run by Sortail. It'll be on April 2nd at 10 a.m. UTC. You can go to the forums to sign up. If you don't have a partner, don't worry. There are other people looking for partners, so it'll all work out. So for exhibiting 2v2, we'll have Rara, North Chilean G versus Adam2 and Arteries on Red Comet, a classic map. Rara going for the center position with Cloakybots. North Chilean G with Hovercraft. Not totally unusual, but a little bit unusual. Arteries with Light Vehicles and Rar Adam2 in the center with Shieldbot and Interesting. So bots in the center, which kind of makes sense, a slightly shorter rush distance, but usually you do see vehicle vehicle versus vehicle vehicles, or like vehicle tank, have a craft, some combination of the three. But not today. Bot vehicle for both sides, which I don't recall having seen much of. I mean, it's long since the time when 2v2 was always ground air. That's not been the case for a while. But even then, it's still... Bot vehicle. Red comet's a weird map that way. You can kind of get away with that, actually, because the map isn't too big. Bots are actually viable. Vehicles are a little bit more viable just because it's still flat and they still have the speed advantage. But bots aren't useless, and if your teammate is covering you for the speed, well, as we see, Rar going for power with warriors, though I think they're going to go for their standard commander push. And, well, it looks like Adam 2, not quite so much. They're pushing a little bit more for... I guess they're pushing, well, bandits? They're going for about as much speed as it looks like Arteries is, and Arteries going for darts already. No, Dart Scorcher, nice! Arteries gets first blood on the Metal Extractor. Although it looks like Rar, sorry, not Rar, it looks like, yeah, Rar. North Chilean G, not Rar. <laughs> looks like North Chilean G is going to be the one taking that. No, not quite. Didn't quite get a metal extractor out. Just lost a couple daggers in the process. Not the best thing in the world, I'm afraid. But at this point, the East team does have a nice setup. Slight economic advantage. Western team still building up. I mean, arteries with the Northwest Dart here just blocking things out. Rar, however, doesn't care. Like I said, Rar going for the commander. Push rocket launcher commander. Probably rocket launcher, range, and maybe an extra armor, obviously. They always go for the extra armor and the auto, auto repair, because auto repair and extra armor is awesome. That is a great thing to have. Works beautifully. And the warrior push in the center, I mean, that's going to be forcing East Team's hand. Really going to force their hand. Still just going for Bandit Scorcher, though. We do see Outlaws coming in a bit later. Outlaws Thug coming in way later. But these warriors could do a lot of damage in the meantime, and no rogues or anything. North Chilean G with Scalpel for extra support. I mean, clearly this is not going to be East Team's initiative. East Team has the advantage economically, but at this point, West Team definitely has the initiative. Dagger's going for scouting. Does West Team actually know? Yeah, they know. They have radar enough to be able to see that there are defenses there in the southeast. But they don't really seem to be too concerned. An Arteries Commander over to the north. Rar, what do they have? Rocket Launcher and Armor. Because that's, of course, that's what they have. 5,000 Health Commander, Arteries Commander, level 2. Okay, Arteries going for Ride Cannon. Interesting. Not going to be the most useful against Warriors, though. Not going to be useless, but not going to be the most useful. I mean, Rar, this is kind of all or nothing. This is how Rar tends to play. Although right now, oh man, if Rar had some constructors around here, they had Conjurer or something going along here. I mean, they have the money to do it. If they had Conjurer up here, they could take this area. I mean, yes, this this dart's dead. Just get rid of the dart, expand all the way around back. That'd be awesome. That's so much territory. I mean, at this point, Rar, their commander is essentially securing this entire northern area. That's huge. I'm not quite sure why Rar has not opted to build that up or why North Chilean G has also not opted to really build that up. North Chilean G taking the south, but they could send a quill over to the north. That wouldn't be too much to work with or work against them. And there we go. It looks like Rar is sending stuff over to the north. And oh, did oops. No, it looks like that Dar's not paying attention. It's been spotted, but neither player really cares. Rar continuing to push, and now the northwest has been taken. Unfortunately, the commander kind of went past what they needed to secure. 
There needs to be some static defense built here at some point, and did, oh, for crying out loud, not again. I think that's been fixed, but there hasn't been a new stable with the selections, which I should say. It's been fixed, but I don't believe the new stable has been there. Oops. Did that disable something? No. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I don't know why that just happened. But yeah, that static defense would have been necessary there, but the commander at that point was pushing in a good position. However, it doesn't really matter because... What the... Oh, for crying out loud. Lost spectator panels, too. I hate when this happens. Sorry about that. I don't know why that those widgets are crashing. It... I think it's been fixed, so it's not a big deal. And a bit of a base trade situation going on here. RAR losing their base, but so has Arteries. Arteries is totally down. Trying to get rid of the factory for Adam 2 as well. If that goes, I mean, that's not nothing. At this point, Arteries has no way of rebuilding. Adam 2 could obviously donate some units. But Adam 2 is the only player with actual playable units at the moment. And they don't seem to be too keen on donating to Arteries at this point, so this is not going to go well for Art. Well, Arteries is done. Adam 2 is holding the team. This is 2 on 1. I mean, Arteries, they took out that Cloakabot factory, but it doesn't matter. So RAR has no factory, but RAR built the thing they really wanted to build. And North Chilean G with the cover to finish off from the western side. At this point, though, not building enough to really get that economy going. So there needs to be a little bit more constructed. A couple of caretakers would be nice. But at this point, I think West team is just thinking, I think we're going to take this. We're going to take this. We're going to win. This is our final push. I mean, Rar's commander is doing a number. Although it's getting disabled, Shieldbot does pretty much stop the commander push with the Racketeers. That Racketeer goes down, and no more Racketeers can be built. Although we aren't seeing whether or not Adam 2 is building another factory, but it looks like they are not. And Arter is getting bored since they can't do anything. They really can't. They lost everything. Unless Adam 2 is thinking, no, you failed. Failures are not allowed to play. Screw you, which would be a very bad idea because they're on the same team. So I don't think that Adam 2 is doing that. But I'm not sure what units Adam 2 has to give. I mean, really, at this point, what is there? There's... Okay, there's a few convicts, but those convicts are under some threat. There's the Racketeers, but they're doing an automatic job that's doing pretty well. It's not really clear what could be given to Arteries at this point. North Chilean G, the only player right now who can actually produce anything. Although I don't think RAR is totally locked. Oh no, RAR is. RAR has their commander. The commander is the only unit they have that's capable of construction. Every other one of their builders, there are no engineers, no blue engineers right now. And it looks like Okay, a couple convicts have been given to Arteries for Arteries to rebuild with. North Chilean G... Okay, I was about to say, they should probably give some of these quills over to RAR, and indeed they... Wait, did they? Yeah, they did. Okay, there we go. There's RAR's quill. RAR has quill. RAR can rebuild. Without using the commander, that is. I mean, the commander obviously can rebuild. What else was given to RAR? I don't see what other units... Oh, these scalpels are given to RAR. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so RAR takes the southeast. Proxying in and like just... Cutting in the base, building their own. Sheesh. This is... These are kind of dead spots, but... I don't know, maybe. It's not totally dead. Very risky, though. I mean, RAR, even what they have, it's a couple... Okay, auto repair, bunch of nanolays. So they can build quickly and aren't going to die quickly. I mean, 8600 health with 45 health regen is fairly strong. And Jumpbot Factory coming up for North Chilean... Or, sorry, for Arteries. North Chilean G still rebuilding. And it looks like no rebuild of factory yet for RAR. Wow, North Chilean G really needs to have some caretakers or something by their main factory. That's not helping. Oh, yeah, I see. Still... At this point, Arteries jump out factory. 20 seconds left for construction. This is not working out as well as they'd like, I'm sure. And, of course, they see that the Warriors... Warriors Scalpel coming to the north. The commander not really threatened at this point. It's going to be pushing out. I mean, it doesn't... It can just attack directly. Even the Stinger's not... Okay, the Stinger will be a bit of a... Cons Actually, is it? I kind of don't think so. Stinger deals how much damage? 850 damage... Okay, it deals damage frequently enough to actually deal damage to Rar's Commander. Like, Rar's Commander is 
Brar's gonna have to be careful about that. They can't just let their commander go out and die. Not sure why Rar isn't building a factory at this point. They build a character, build a factory. You have a fair amount of energy. Just get the production going. Your production is so low. You've been ex the team's been accessing for a while. They just had such a powerful advantage right at the start of the game that it hasn't been a big deal. Although Scuttle's coming out, and it looks like Rar not paying attention to this, not dealing with this right now. That's not good. Defense wars in the southeast are starting to get okay. The Racketeers messing that up. Scalpels up. I don't know these units. These units are probably not aware of this. I don't think. No, Rar's not aware of this. Or very likely not aware of that scuttle right there. And Adam II's commander also upgraded. Mostly for construction. Oh, resurrection too. Is he going to use that? I mean, a lot of halberds died trying to kill that thing. That would be powerful against Rar's commander. Not the most powerful in the world. No, instead, Sky Dust. Okie doke. But yeah, North Chilean G would benefit so much from getting some Caretakers up. And Rar has something, but really, just get the Caretaker first. Caretaker saves time. Saves so much time to get the Caretakers up before building factories. But it looks like Adam 2 just doesn't expect this to go anywhere. Did they leave? Yeah, Adam 2 just resigned. I mean, I'll grant that East Team is definitely way behind. I mean, even with the production difference, or the fact that there's excess going on. Yeah, they're way behind, so I'm not really surprised. That was a powerful move. That commander push, I mean, when Rar has the commander push supported by a teammate, that's scary. That is terrifying. Because, I mean, think about it. Rar right now, like, they, oh, nice, got rid of the scuttle. Pretty painlessly, too, actually. But yeah, Rar's commander pushes, their weakness is usually that there's no follow-up. There's nothing, once they've done their thing, if Rar's behind enemy lines, there's no real follow-up, there's no easy way for them to defend anything, that can be just broken by racketeers. Or just broken by any anti-heavy units. But with North Chilean G providing cover, and basically being a more standard army, I mean, it was a rush. That was, that was cheese, kind of, but not really. Not with the follow-up. There was, there was something solid behind that. It wasn't just a liquidy mess. And that worked out. Although at this point, Artery's not quite willing to give up yet. A swarm of puppies are descending down on Rar and North Chilean G. Not sure this is going to go anywhere, though. I mean, Adam 2's totally given up, so I don't really know how well Artie's going to have as far as chances go. Gunship land just about done. And what are we seeing here? We're seeing Brawlers! And also North Chilean G gone for air. And hey, Caretakers! Actually using up the economy they have. Arteries managed to rebuild a little bit. 18 metal so far. I mean, that's all static metal too. And Puppies down. Nice shots with the Phoenixes. Getting rid of all the Puppies. Where are the Pyros? Ah, there they are. Well, there's one of them. And looks like that's about it for Py... Oh, really? That's it? Oh, I see. They're taking them to the Northwest. Okay. Good use of Pyros there, but honestly, at this point, the economy advantage is pretty stark. Or economy difference is pretty stark. So, I don't know. This is all static defense in the Southwest. Or Southeast, rather. That's all there is. Rar's commander appears to have... Yeah, okay, it's just gone back. It's... It's gone back behind friendly lines. Doesn't want to worry about anything anymore too much. Powers can be brawlers to finish stuff off. I mean, this is pretty much over. Factory's gone. Arteries. Okay, there we go. Arteries factory's about to go down. Once the scalps get a good few shots, a few good shots in there. I'm not even too worried about it. I mean, with it being on fire, it's not gonna be able to construct anything. There we go. Factory's down. Everything else is pretty much down. This is. Last two pyros, that's the only hope of East Team, and that hope has been extinguished. A bit of fire remains, but that's about it. And the gunship plant, is it gonna burn? Oh no, it's it's fine. It's got half his health left. And that was it. That was weird, but yeah, that's the power of Rar's comp pushes when there's another player with more units behind it. That was terrifying. I mean, they kind of saw it coming, but at the same time, Racketeers were not built quickly enough.
sadly. So yeah, that... That was that. That was a little odd. But that worked. I mean, hey, commander pushes can do the trick. It's just 1v1 makes it really hard because your opponent wants to get rid of the commander. You probably don't have a follow-up. But in 2v2, we could see that in the tournament. I'm actually... I, I hope we see it because I want to see what the responses are going to be. I want to see how people deal with that. I want to see what people do and if it ends up being changed, if the strategy gets changed and made more solid. Because rar has been pushing with the commander thing, and this seems to be an environment where it works better than 1v1. So I could see that being a strategy being used a lot in the tournament, assuming Rar is playing in the tournament next week. I'm curious what people will do to deal with it. What was its final setup? Okay. Two nano layers, four times auto repair module, three armor plates modules, two drones, two rocket launchers, we saw that for a while, bunch of extra range, bunch of extra speed. Relatively quick, uh, not super quick. Bit of a slower, still slow bot range, but still not too bad. 559 Elmo, so just about the upper end of skirmisher range. And 720 damage a shot. Like for a pair of shots. That's, that's something. But hey, I mean, it did the job. It really just, it wrecked up East Team's everything. And that's exactly what it was meant to do. And it did it well. So, well done. So that is going to be it. Like I said, tournament next week. Go to the forums. It is, you can still sign up. Probably still sign up for the next week or so. And then it'll be next week. 10 a.m. UTC. That'll be the cast. Obviously, the afternoon cast will not happen because I'll probably have gone back to bed. But yeah, 10 a.m. UTC. Be there or watch. Till then, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching.